What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video and today we have a quick little video for you guys as we've just gotten word that the Jacksonville Jaguars have traded AJ Bouye to the Denver Broncos and I like this trade for the Denver Broncos. I really do. Uh, but the, for the Jacksonville Jaguars, this was a necessity. This had to happen if they wanted to clear up some cap space. They got themselves kind of trapped in a cap hell because they really thought they were going to build up this defense, you know, pay some uh, players and even pay their own uh, drafted players as well, pay free agents and uh, drafted players to big contracts on that defense. And hopefully it works out so they could, you know, make a playoff run and a Super Bowl run. But that was all for not. Now they're in a cap hell right now. So they have to do everything they can, whether it be restructuring contracts or trading or cutting their players in order to make room for others and so on and so forth. So, you know, the Jaguars just franchise tag Yannick Ngakwe and everybody's wondering where the hell they're going to get their money from that and they're making the moves for it right now. And he's going to get traded anyway, but that being said, they traded AJ Bouye to the Denver Broncos. As far as it goes for the Denver Broncos, this was a fantastic move. You get yourself a mm -hmm. surefire starter right off the bat. Um, surefire start right off the bat for only a fourth round pick in this year's draft. Uh, it's very unlikely you're going to find a fourth round pick that has the level of production that an AJ Bouye is going to give you. Uh, now, the only downside is that AJ Bouye is 29 this year. He'll be t he's 29 this season. He'll be 30 next season, and his contract is up when he is 31 in the year of 2022. So you kind of have that kind of window to get the most production out of him and try to get yourself trending upward uh, to try to make a playoff run with uh, AJ AJ Bouye because he is a highly paid cornerback in this league. Just under $14 million is he's being paid. So that being said, I mean, Denver had a, that, this was a great move for Denver. Fantastic move for Denver. A plus just being that they were able to get a solid starter. Now he won't be around for too many years. Maybe they resign him after his contract is up if he's still playing well at 31, but they still have three solid years in him. Uh, he still has three solid years in him to make something happen. And uh, on top of that, you had a very little price to pay. I had the Denver Broncos spending a first round pick on, I think, Christian Fulton. I was about to mock them for CJ Henderson um, in this draft, but now, now they don't have to go corner. They could still go corner. They need a lot of help on that secondary. Uh, you look at their... You look at their death chart right now, and they have uh, Bryce Callahan starting for them right now, and Chris Harris, who is a free agent. Uh, so he's coming in there, in there, and beside him is going to be looking like their third round pick in last year, year before that draft, uh, in uh, Isaac Yadam. So I mean, he wasn't good at all last year. So they can still go corner if they really wanted to this this year, but this trade allows them to go somewhere else. And find other players at other positions in this draft. Like in the first round, they can get another position that they need very, very badly. Um, you know, especially in that interior defensive line, they can definitely use some help there. Uh, so they can go after like a Javon Kinclaw if they really want Kinlaw. I'm sorry, if they really wanted to. Um, so that being said, fantastic move for the Denver Broncos. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, it was just necessity. They have to clean up, ca clear up cap space. And if you're any Jacksonville Jaguars fans, do not get mad at this move. This is just something that the Jacksonville Jaguars are trying to repay their, their mistakes. They're trying to make up for their mistakes. They have to clear up cap room. If you guys want to have any other free agents in here and move fo moving forward, you have to have money in, in, your, uh, in your bank account. So uh, that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys like the content, make sure you guys leave a like, uh, subscribe down below, and uh, see you guys in the next video.